Good morning and welcome to another morning devotional. Now, as you know or might not know, we're currently busy working through a series called Unshaken. And so today I want to chat to you about persevering, persevering in Jesus. So do you know the story about the woman that had the issue with blood, right? I want to read you a passage from Luke 8, which says, And a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for 12 years and had spent all her money on physicians and could not be healed by anyone, came up behind him, which is Jesus, and touched the fringe of his outer robe, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Immediately her bleeding stopped. Now, here's the thing. I mean, this lady had perseverance. I mean, she paid physicians, she saw different doctors, and no one could help her. I mean, she tried everything in the natural to get healed. I mean, it says she, she spent the money, all the money. But when Jesus was in town, then she knew, she tapped into her faith to say that I need to get to Jesus. And that is exactly what she did. I mean, now, Jesus was surrounded by crowds. I mean, there's people all around him. Everybody looking for a miracle. Everybody wants to, you know, to spend time with Jesus, sit at his feet, or demanding stuff from Jesus. But the thing is, she had to fight through the crowds to get to him. Now, remember, she had an issue with blood for 12 years. So she is tired. She might be powerless. She might feel weak. But she persevered and touched Jesus' robe. To the extent where Jesus said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone touched me. That's how powerful their faith was activated. And then the disciples were like, but Jesus, there's many people around you. I'm sure somebody must have touched you. He says, no, power has left me. And so he knew that someone tapped in to his divine power. And so that act, what she did, was not seen as pitiful, but powerful. You see, so we cannot be pitiful or powerful. We need to choose. And so if we are being powerful, we need to persevere into the goodness of who Jesus is. Because as you go through today, we must understand that Jesus has the answer to our problems. He's got the solutions to what we're facing. And so nothing is impossible with him. We need to tap into his power today in, in order for us to be powerful. And so I want to end off by... By the scripture Paul wrote in Hebrews 12, uh, Hebrews 10 verse 23, and it says, Let us seize and hold tightly the confessions of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is reliable and trustworthy and faithful. Jesus is reliable, trustworthy and faithful. So we can tap into that and persevere because we have a big God on our side. So, Blessings to you all. Persevere and push through. I just want to pray for us. Father, thank you, Lord, that we can persevere in you. Father, thank you that you have a plan for us and that plan is good. And I pray, Lord, that whatever we face today, may there be a solution. May there be an answer. May there be a robe that we can touch out, stretch out and touch today. Lord, we pray, let your spirit come. Let your kingdom come. Fill us today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Have a great, blessed day and persevere.